And think back, if you would, to our special program that we called Hidden History that we aired a little while back, Veteran Voices specifically. We introduced you to Staff Sergeant Justin Starks. We called him Jackson's top airman. After serving less than five years in the Air Force, he was named one of the nation's 12 Outstanding Airmen of the Year. Well, back then, he took time to speak with us while he was deployed in an undisclosed location. Well, Justin is back, and he's at it again. In the midst of the coronavirus pandemic, he's now stationed at the Joint uh, Base, Andrews Air Force Base in Maryland. He's joining us now live via Zoom as he has earned another top honor, the John L. Levitow Award. Hello, Justin. Hello, ma'am. How you doing? We're doing fine. Tell us about this award. Um, yes, ma'am. The John Lee Levitt Award is presented at Airman Leadership School. It's a professional military education requirement that I will have to take before I fill in the role of Staff Sergeant. So Staff Sergeant is a supervisory role. So I go to Airman Leadership School to learn supervisory roles to better lead a team, to better lead my team. So that's exactly what it is. And, um, and that award is presented to the top 1% within the class. So my peers, my instructors, my commandant, and everybody else, Put me up for the award, and, I, and I'm really thankful for that. Oh, oh congratulations! Wonderful. Congratulations. So, uh, now, did your did did the people who didn't win the award did they congratulate you, or did they hate you for that? Uh, they congratulated me. Matter of fact, they congratulated me uh, way before the class started. We were getting to know each other throughout the class. Um, we, we treated each other with respect. Um, it was just an awesome time, and um, they kind of figured that that was going to go up forward. But I never go to the class thinking of, thinking of an award. I just went to class thinking to make sure everybody made it through to make their family that is, proud. Yeah, that is, that is definitely um, th the way it yeah. works, doesn't it? Well, you have been just an inspiration. What do you hope, um, um, you know, the young people seeing this uh, right now, what about, what can you say to them about g joining our military and being a part of this? Uh, yes, ma'am. Just first thing first, um, if you have a goal, just write it down and follow them through. Um, no matter what the situation is, just continue to stay motivated every day when you wake up. And um, with joining the military, I say it's a perfect opportunity. It may not be for everyone, so I wanted to go out there and say join, join, join. But it did help me out tremendously to what, grow what? outside of my environment, so it really did help me out. And I'm thankful for it. I'm thankful for where I came from, which is Jackson, Mississippi. And I'm thankful for, the, um, for learning more within my military career. And where you've been? Listen, you're very close to, um, you know, Washington D.C. right there. Have you seen the president? Uh, I see him. I see him every day. Being here at Joint Base Andrews. Oh, wow! Base. Wow! Yeah. That tell, is exciting. Yes, tell him we said hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that close to him, but I, I try to believe. <laughs> Well, you, you are just an inspiration to so many, and you've made us so proud um, putting Mississippi uh, once again on the map with all your, your, you know, your achievements, and you do it uh, with just such grace and, and, and beauty, really. So we thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. Thank you guys once again for having me. I really appreciate it. Yeah, we just want to say how much, and just how proud we are of you. Mm -hmm. And to, uh, to read more, about uh, Justin and uh, his tenure in the Air Force, visit our website, WJTV.com. We'll have uh, information posted about today's story. And if you look under the Living Local tab on our homepage and click on Veterans Voices, you can see that original story on Justin being named uh, the nation's top airman.